Tonight, Jacob Claire faces two additional felony charges out of California for sexual assault. It comes after he was charged for kidnapping his three year old son, Noah Claire, who was at the center of an Amber Alert this week. Jacob Claire's 16 year old niece was also taken by Jacob Claire, Noah Claire's father. After the TBI issued an Amber Alert, the trio was found in California yesterday. News 4's Marissa Sulik has followed this every step of the way and explains what's next for Jacob Claire. This is a family overjoyed to see their son after he went missing for almost two weeks. It's also a family that still has a lot ahead of them. Tonight, Jacob Claire faces two additional charges in California. Those include sex with a minor with special circumstances and oral copulation with a victim under 18. This is on top of additional kidnapping charges in Tennessee and Kentucky. This this was a roller coaster of a case, meaning that there was moments when I felt like I was chasing, like I was my butt was on fire, for lack of a better term, and I was chasing my tail. And then there were moments where I was waiting and sitting by, and, and the hours drug by, so it was a speed up, slow down type of thing. And so I've just been accumulating information as fast as I possibly could. Now I have to organize all this information in order to. Uh, try to get an indictment on Jake and, and make sure that he is held accountable for his actions. At this time, Jacob Claire remains in Orange County Jail awaiting extradition. Nine times out of 10, the defendant waives the extradition process and just says, go ahead and take me because it's quicker. You don't have to sit in jail in the state which you're in. Orange County court documents say his arraignment is scheduled for Monday. Todd says once he's extradited back to Tennessee, he could face up to 25 years in prison for especially aggravated kidnapping. He also has a feeling this could be tried in federal court. Oftentimes when you transport minors across state lines during the commission of other crimes, you get federal jurisdiction involved. And if the federal punishments are more severe, uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office may take the case. And because Jacob Clare crossed state lines, Todd says he could face additional charges. Marissa Sulek, News 4 Nashville. And we cannot show you this video enough of Noah reunited with his family just last night. How sweet is that? They are flying into BNA tonight. Their flight is a bit delayed, and we've heard there will be a celebration for Noah once they get home to Gat or Gallatin. Amber, his cousin, is also back with her family. Now that we know the charges against Jacob Clare, next come court dates. Of course, we'll be following all of those. To keep up with those dates, have our free News 4 app. To find it, search WSMV in your app store.